Top 10 Deadliest Insects in the World What's your biggest fear? Maybe you're afraid of the dark, or just not a fan of small spaces. Or do you have a more exotic phobia, a fear of number 13, or triste decaphobia? As for me, I have an interesting, but to be honest, not fun at all phobia, called entomophobia, or the fear of bugs. Yes, those little critters are scaring the heck out of me, and as part of my therapy, I decided to get to know them even closer and look into their numerous eyes. This is Wild Facts, and in today's video, we will explore the lives of the deadliest insects that crawl on our planet in pursuit of scared-to-death prey. If you love learning about the most exciting creatures and phenomena on Earth, be sure to subscribe to the Wild Facts channel and ring the bell to get all the notifications. I promise it will not be scary at all the next time. So let's open this can of worms and bring all of us new themes for the horrible nightmares. This should be fun. Assassin Caterpillar Let's start strong with the fellow that was proclaimed the most venomous caterpillar in the world by Guinness World Records. Quite a status. These tiny 2-inch, about 5 centimeters creatures, also called Lanomia oblica, live in beautiful Brazil in its southeast part. The caterpillar got its 5 minutes of fame when multiple cases of weird illnesses with gangrene-like symptoms were observed in patients in Brazil. All of them suffered from massive blood leakage into the various body parts. Even after receiving treatment, some of them unfortunately died from this mysterious illness. After the investigation, the one and only possible killer, Assassin Caterpillar, was found guilty on all charges. It had thousands of hollow venomous spines on its body, and some victims said that right before the illness, it worked with trees, the insect's favorite place. And now we know that if you see these charming bugs in real life, go in the opposite direction. Kissing Bug Another insect with an adorable name, but a not-so-sweet history of relationships with humans, is a kissing bug. Another common name of these bad boys, from the Triatomeni family, is vampire bugs, and I think this name says it all. These bugs from Central America love sucking human blood, and they're especially fond of faces and lips in particular. They bite people at night and suck your precious fluid really quietly. They do it so stealthily that even before you notice something, a kissing bug will vanish in the dark. But it will leave something behind. These bugs are responsible for transmitting Chagas disease, the illness that kills around 13,000 people every year. Their bite can also provoke a serious allergic reaction, or even death for some people. An unfortunate ability of a bug with such a lovely name. Japanese Oriental Wasp You may have heard about these little fellows back in 2019, when these bugs entered the United States under the name Murder Hornet. Hmm, that's not a bad name for a death metal band. Anyway, the Japanese Oriental Wasp, or Vespa mandarinia, is a huge 3-inch, 7.5-centimeter insect with a huge quarter of an inch long stinger, 6 millimeters. This wasp can be found all around Asia from Russia to Sri Lanka, and you should be careful near it. One wasp probably won't kill you, but if you got stung by a couple of them, or if you have an allergy, it could be the end for you. Moral of the story, do not mess with something that is called murder hornet. The Human Botfly at first glance, this cute little fly looks so innocent and nice, you can mistake it for a bee, but this Central and South American botfly is not your sweet friend honeymaker. As opposed to bees, which can be dangerous only for flowers, a human botfly, or Dermatobi hominis, is known for its disgusting habit of parasitizing humans with its babies and causing a serious disease called dermatobiasis. If not cured, the illness can cause infection, and in some cases, death. Dermatobiasis is especially dangerous to children, and massive invasions of human botflies can kill a child. The Monarch Butterfly Oh, finally, something wonderful and not horrifying. But wait, it is the list of the deadliest insects, so what the heck the Monarch Butterfly is doing here? Well, this gorgeous beauty is actually a very toxic fella, and it possesses a poison called cardenolides. If a human consumes this poison, it can easily kill them with proper dosage, of course. Luckily, people rarely eat these butterflies, although we have documented cases of deaths caused by them. Nevertheless, this fellow was my way to take a break from scary flies, so do not think that the monarch butterfly does not fit in this list. And now, let's get back to our flies. Tsetse Fly A hideous-looking tsetse fly is one of the unfortunate inhabitants of this wonderful continent of Africa. 
This biting fly loves the taste of blood, but it usually chooses small wild mammals to feed itself, not humans. But there's the thing that tsetse fly is pretty dumb. This insect cannot really differentiate what object is alive and what is not. It will even attack a moving vehicle in the hope that it is alive. They never attack zebras though. Isn't it weird? So tsetse fly is dangerous for humans because it is a known transmitter of African sleeping sickness. This dangerous disease kills thousands of people every year. Indian Red Scorpion The most dangerous scorpion in the world, the Indian Red Scorpion, is the next critter on our list. This is a nice looking creature with the distinguished orangey brown reddish color called Hotentata tamulus, and it primarily lives in India, Pakistan, Nepal, and Sri Lanka. This scorpion is a big guy. It can grow to be from 2 to 4.5 inches long, 5 to 9 centimeters. At least you can recognize it if you meet it in the wilderness. The species has a highly toxic venom, and it kills up to 40% of people who have been bitten. It is absolutely fatal for kids, so if you see this guy around you, take the kids and run away. Ticks Another small bug that looks so innocent, but once its teeth are on your skin, you can find yourself in real danger. Ticks live everywhere in the world, but like many other insects, they do prefer warmer climates. These insects have very sharp teeth, and when they do need to eat, they try to find you guessed it, a warm body with nice blood flow. Sometimes not so warm because ticks also drink reptile blood, but we can still become their victims. Like many other blood-sucking insects, ticks transmit a long list of dangerous illnesses that can lead to your death if you don't cure them. A particular species, the Australian paralysis tick, can even cause tick paralysis. I better cover my head next time in the woods. Africanized honeybee. I love bees, they are great insects and they help our nature to live in perfect harmony. They will never touch you, unless you are acting really rude. That's a rule, right? Well, Africanized honeybees do not follow this rule. These bees were introduced in Brazil in the middle of the 20th century, and now they live in the warm areas of both Americas. These bees are more aggressive towards human interference in their affairs than regular ones, and when they feel endangered, they will attack together in a large group. Many people have died stung by numerous bees, and let me tell you, they probably should have left the poor bees alone. Mosquito And the winner in this one and only hideous competition is our not-so-good buddy, a regular mosquito. Yes, they seem to be just little bugs that want to bite into your skin and drink a little. Sounds okay, I guess, considering the fact that we eat other animals too. However, mosquitoes don't just bite you. They leave an infectious trace behind, and sometimes it can be very deadly. Mosquitoes transmit many diseases, like lymphatic filariasis, yellow fever, dengue fever, Zika virus, heartworm disease, tularema, and many more. The most well-known illness transmitted by mosquitoes, of course, malaria, and all these diseases kill more than 2 million people in total per year. It's impossible to get rid of mosquitoes completely because they are an essential part of nature and other species, not so affected by malaria and other horrible diseases, love eating these buzzing fellas, but they are still dangerous for you, so use repellents and try to avoid them if you can. What insect surprised you the most? Do you find these deadly critters scary, or are you too brave to be scared for such minuscule creatures? Leave your thoughts down below in the comment section, and tell us what other scary animals you would like to see me cover next on this channel. I will be waiting for your responses. Until the next time, farewell!